Yes, so Syslogic, we are a hardware manufacturer of rugged embedded systems and we focus on a few key niche markets, uh, transport and railway being one of them. And there's also a few others uh, like uh, rugged computing, so for mining operations uh, and for agricultural applications, uh, smart mobility, shuttles, smart cities, that kind of stuff. And uh, now more and more so AMRs, AGV type vehicles, robots, stuff like that. Yes, so that's our newest product. Uh, we designed it with some feedback from the market. So it has our standard carrier board in there. It has uh, various, uh, like a host of various host of IO features. It has a lot of connectors. So it has uh, your ethernet, uh, it has your CAN. It also has power over ethernet. A lot of older type serial connectors. We're seeing this more and more, especially with AI applications. A lot of the sensors are still serial. So your RS-232 or your RS-485. And then very new, it also has uh, coax connectors. Uh, so those are for GMSL2 type interfaces, a serialized camera interface for even more latency-free camera uh, connectors. The standout features of the product are definitely the construction. So it's an IP67 and 69 rated uh, product. It's dust and waterproof, nothing can get in. Uh, it also has like a vent to, uh, it's a pressure equalization membrane, so it prevents humidity buildup. Uh, we also have the option to coat the PCBs to protect it further against condensation. And then what it has, what this specific product is, is like a, a jam-packed version. So you have, you have your power over ethernet connectors and you have GMSL2 for, for serialized cameras as well. So you have a lot of camera options. Uh, and then what tends to happen is customers start with that and then they go and see what they need and then we can customize from there. Yes, very well. So because uh, we are the actual manufacturer, we, we uh, design, develop and produce in-house, including the SMD assembly. We have uh, lots of options to customize uh, when it comes to small volumes. You know, there's, uh, it's just a simple connector that's maybe already present on the board and we just have to pull a cable to get that connector. And for higher volumes, we have the option to, to design the PCB with the customer to get the features he exactly needs and to make sure that he's not buying things he doesn't need with a standard off-the-shelf product. So there's a few companies now like us that have started doing, this, uh, doing these NVIDIA jets and uh, embedded modules. And if you look here at Inotrans, there's not that many uh, solutions there yet. So we think we're one of the first we think there's a lot of demand for, for more horsepower, more CPU, more GPU power. And there's, there's two ways to go about that. You can have, you know, you have a GPU, like a, a, a cool GPU, or you, you pick this new kind of, uh, the way we're going is with these NVIDIA jets and embedded modules, where we hope to bring more performance in, in a smaller form of fact. They're still passively cooled, still railway certified. And uh, I think that's, that's uh, a good reason to be excited. So we believe AI will more and more become a major mainstay in our lives. And what we do is we build a technology to make some of those use cases a possibility, a reality. And in terms of the future, we see that we're right at the beginning. So the development is not yet complete and there's still a lot more to come in that regard in the coming months and years.